How do you make pink concrete? Is that something that anybody would ever try to make? Well, I've got some here and I want to show you how I've achieved this. <laughs> First, we start with white sand and white cement. We mix those two together and make a white mortar, something that is easily going to accept a coloration. Then, to this white sand and white cement mixture, I add acrylic paint. Now this is a Fire Engine Red acrylic paint product. I added 100 milliliters to this small bucket of white sand and white cement. I think definitively we can agree this is not red, but pink. So I went ahead and I made an even more concentrated version of this, omitting the sand and using only white Portland cement and this fire engine red acrylic paint. And this is what we've achieved here. So let's go ahead and make our color sample with this. You can use acrylic paint in concrete. That's actually not a problem at all. In fact, in ways, it can benefit your concrete. It can change some of the physical properties of the concrete, enhancing them. There are many concrete admixture products which are acrylic based. So using an acrylic paint is actually pretty beneficial. In this case, it's allowed us to achieve this ridiculous pink color. So let's go ahead and get this in here. <laughs> Love it. So I'm painting this slurry in of just cement and water and a little bit of that coloration. And it's going to allow me to have a very thin surface layer with a high cement ratio. This will allow me to pick up a lot of fine detail in my casting. That's a very important thing. If you're into concrete casting and it's something that you're not doing, it doesn't work for every application. I mean, it's a pretty deep technical world, but you should probably explore using slurries where possible on your concrete castings, because I think it'll go a long way to improving some of the work out there. I'm pretty active on, you know, a lot of Facebook forums and stuff like that for concrete casting and decorative concrete applications, things like this. And I see a lot of work out there and it has pock marking and honeycombing and stuff like that. And that's where this is really going to benefit you really get lets you get that high level of detail. I mean, I've seen people who do it by using a product called Cementol. It's a very expensive, very high quality, non shrink grout product, which has a lot of things like acrylic. Uh, it's got a lot of things like super plasticizers and water reducers and uh, things to make it a stronger finished product. And it makes very, very high quality castings, but for huge bucks. I see this stuff and I'm like, who are you guys? I can't afford that. I don't know how you all afford it. So this allows you to get that same level of high quality finished detail without having to spend all that money. In here, I just have sand, cement, and again, a little bit of this coloration. So. And I just want to point out here with this slurry that I've put in, when it's really thin, it kind of, you know, sinks down to the lowest spots. I don't want to have a really thick spot of just the slurry because I don't think that would be strong enough. So I kind of go out of my way to make sure that it's not pooling too thick in any one particular spot. Now it's very important here before this slurry skins over, I gotta get the mix on top there. If I let this dry and I let it skin over and then I put my mix in there, I risk having a plane for delamination or plane of delamination where the two potentially aren't bonded properly and could fail ultimately. So let's go ahead and throw this in here. I've been making concrete for so long. I have never made any concrete that looks like this. Oh, this is crazy. I absolutely love this. There's got to be some people out there that think this is cool. <laughs> Yark. Okay. Trust the old narwhal. Ha 
Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and let this set up probably a day or two. I'll pop it out of the mold. We'll take a look at what we've got. I'll see you in the future. Take a look at this thing. I mean, that's just crazy to me. I've never seen stuff that looks exactly like this. Well, I mean, actually pretty close. But I mean, not super common. When you make decorative concrete, it's actually pretty common because pastel or these light subdued colors, it's really all you can achieve without putting some serious money into some high quality pigments. And even to that degree, you're still kind of limited. So the, you know, the average at home enthusiast, something that you probably saw me do uh, earlier in this, in this video, when I made the mix, I put the, the paint in integrally with it, but I also used a slurry and that enables me to get a, a darker, more drastic coloration without costing me an arm and a leg. Yes, if it chips, you will see that underneath it's not quite as dark or as bold, but at the same time, at least it is the right color. It should kind of blend a little bit. That's the idea here. But I mean, the world is your oyster. Do it any way that you see fit, but check out what I got. Oh, I love it already. I hope it's uh... <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at that. That's definitely going on the wall. Flipping it over. This is the integral mix. Now, to be fair, Supposing we were to seal this with like a wet look seal or something like that. That's what we can expect to get. It's it's darker Actually here. I'll do the the old flips a doodle But Steve what if you put water on the front side, I'm glad you asked let's do that too Because of the slurry and the very dense finish on the front here doesn't absorb water as readily as the back. The back is like a sponge. But I mean, come on, that is awesome for concrete. Get out of here. It's not really red, like it's red-ish. Oh yeah, there it is, I, I see it, it's red now. Here was our color sample before for how red can you make concrete? Like what kind of red do you want? I think we've ended up with something like, I mean, that's to me definitively pink. We're getting close here. I could have gone more aggressively with that, but not much. That's about as strong as I think I could have made that color look. And it took uh, a white uh, sand and cement mixture to allow me to get such a bold coloration. Still, pretty interesting stuff. If you're a concrete nerd like me anyway. Oh yeah, definitely going up on the wall there. Just want to use a rasp and clean up the edge a little here. It's only a couple of days old, so it's still fresh and green and weak, so I can very, very easily. If I were doing this in any more of a serious degree, I would definitely mask up so I'm not breathing in a bunch of dust, but it's so little. And that's it, we're done. Okay. <laughs> Look at the color. I don't want this to touch the white one because the white one's going to probably get stained from all that paint in there. Let's see if it let's see if it wipes off. I mean it shouldn't. <laughs> oh no, not at all. 
or maybe a whole bunch. Concrete sealer would help with that a lot, but it's not ready for that yet. It needs to cure before that happens. I love it. We'll see you again soon.